They say it's the greatest showdown in history. That's right, the crossbow versus a normal bow. Fight! Hey guys, it's Chad. Today we are taking a look at the new crossbows in Minecraft. These are available in the snapshot builds, the early beta version of the game. Now, crossbows being new, you might want to learn a little bit about them. So we're going to show you everything there is to know about crossbows while always comparing it back to the normal bow, the thing that we all know and maybe love. I'm not sure. So here we are inside of Minecraft. What? 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 It's a red land. That's right. I made a new creative world. That's all red concrete because, you know, um, your blood is red. That's why. And uh, so anyway, so let's get into it. How do we craft a crossbow? Well, this is kind of the crafting recipe. We're going to grab all of these uh, out of here because the actual crafting recipe is to take two sticks, put it on the top, get out of there, other stick, uh, an iron bar, put it up there, take a trip wire hook, put it in the middle, put a stick below, and then put two string on either side. That is how you craft a crossbow. Obviously, crossbows can also be uh, stolen from the pillagers whenever you kill them. Now, in order to do that, you need to make the trip wire hook, and that requires oak planks, followed by a stick on top, followed by an iron ingot above that. So, once again, this is all of the materials you need in order to make a crossbow. I've removed the tripwire hook out of this recipe because you're building it over here. In order to make a normal bow, this is all you need. You just need three sticks and three strings. So if you're getting started early in the game, Iron might have been something you haven't found yet, but maybe you have found uh, enough string already. The string is uh, not all that different because you need two in, in the crossbow recipe and three in the bow recipe. It's probably the most difficult thing to get. So early game, you might be able to make a crossbow if you already have enough iron to spare. Not that difficult to get. Um, or you may not want to use the iron and just go for the normal bow. Now, I fired each of these weapons once, and the normal bow's durability is at 384. Zero is also a number that is part of the durability, so really it's 385 uses out of a bow. A crossbow is 327 uses, so the crossbow degrades faster than a normal bow, based off of base durability. So if you're keeping score, I would say that the crossbows recipe is a little bit more difficult to make. So, sorry, the bow wins that. And then also the durability on the bow is better, so the bow also wins that. Now, before you find any mobs that you're going to be fighting, you are probably going to have to draw back the bow in order to fire it off or the crossbow as it may be so in order to draw a bow back obviously right click and then release once it is all the way drawn back you can tell that you have fully drawn back a bow whenever it releases those particles so i'm going to use one of these uh bow of uh, shots to determine exactly how long it takes you to pull back a bow. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing for these crossbows, which can be a little bit difficult because you have to reload them and then fire them uh, kind of immediately. So you have to hold, let go, and fire as fast as you can. Now I have done the math. It is about 1.1 seconds for the bow, and it is about one and a half seconds for the crossbow, if uh, I'm trying to go as fast as I can. But the crossbow has a big advantage here, and that is the quick charge enchantment. Uh, whenever you put level one on a bow, it'll take, or on a crossbow, it'll take it down by a fourth of a second. Level two, another fourth, so that's a half second. Level three, 
is three fourths of a second. Bringing the bow down, I should say crossbow, bringing the crossbow down significant numbers uh, to be a lot faster than the bow. I mean, not a ton faster, but you can just see this is me trying to do it as fast as possible with the bow and getting a one of those uh, the trailing arrows so you know that I pulled it back as far as you can versus the I mean that is a lot faster that is a lot faster uh, with that enchantment the uh, quick charge three enchantment on it so that's one for the crossbow in terms of reload speed. So now let's talk about damage. When it comes to a bow, the maximum damage that you can inflict, excluding critical hits, is nine damage points, which is about four and a half hearts of damage. So if we are to hit a creeper, uh, which has 20 points, you have to hit them at least three times in order for it to die. Now I have the uh, the quick charge enchantment, but that is the only enchantment that I have on this crossbow. So with a crossbow, whenever you uh, have the highest chance, it is around 10. So with the crossbow, what is the maximum damage you can do? Well, it says on the wiki 11, so there we go. So we're able to kill a creeper in only two hits now it doesn't happen every single time uh sometimes it will kill in two hits sometimes it will kill in three hits not exactly sure why it is not doing it there we go see that was just two oh okay, that was three so sometimes you can do more damage with the crossbow not exactly sure how to make sure it does 11 every single time now, you may think that this goes to the crossbow because it does do a higher amount of damage, but you cannot enchant a crossbow with the power enchantment. So if you're able to get the power five, which is the highest uh, power that you can naturally get with just normal enchanting, this should be able to one hit creepers. There we go, see that was just a one hit. That was a two hit, and that was a two hit. But you can one hit kill uh, 20, heart, uh, 20, 20 health creatures with a power five bow. So if we gave the drawback speed to the crossbow because we were using enchantments, I feel like we have to give the amount of damage to the bow because of enchantments. Sorry crossbow, you lost it. Bow has another point. But if we're going to enchant the bow, there is a enchantment that you can give the crossbow that the bow can't have, which is multi-shot, which means that for the cost of just one arrow, you fire three of them. So let's put that enchantment on our crossbow. The biggest issue with this though, is that you do have to be close enough so that all three arrows will hit the target, which could be pretty dangerous to do. So let's try this out. Bam, that took two hits. It's funny, the, uh, the second arrow or the other arrows. Oh, wow. That took three hits, come on. Okay, wow. So we haven't gotten a one hit kill yet. Also, I'm trying to figure out how far back can I stand. You can stand a little bit further back than I expected. See, all of those arrows hit, even though I'm standing pretty far back. Hmm, I may have to give this still to the bow. Sorry, crossbow, the bow wins this point. Now let's talk about range. Right here I am standing at zero, zero. Over there I have a block in the sky. So in order to test out range, I will aim at that block way over there, try to get it as centered as possible, and then fire this bow. And we'll do that a few times just to see if the arrows fall in any different of a spot. And let me get that center and then we'll go down range and see 
exactly where they fell. Apparently, I'm not so great at aiming. This is why I don't play first-person shooters. Okay, so let's go see where these arrows fell. I will pick them up whenever I uh, get by. But it looks like that right there is about the center of where those arrows are. So let me get a sign. We're going to use an acacia sign because why not? We're going to go right above those arrows. And there we go. That is the block. That's where the arrows all fell. This is 75 blocks away from that block in the sky, which is at 100 blocks. So now let's try the same thing with the crossbow. Okay, we are aiming. Oh my gosh, I forgot that I have the triple shot on. Uh, but that should not change our range at all, as long as I can continue to click near <laughs> that darn block in the far away. It's so hard for some reason. You know what, just in case uh, that uh, triple shot is slowing down these arrows, we will use just a normal crossbow as well. Okay, so let's go see where these arrows fell. Uh, okay, so it looks like they all do have a longer range because all of the arrows fell right here around this area, but all of the crossbow arrows, and we even have some pretty far away, are further away. Some near the 75, some uh, before. Those ones before may have been the triple shot arrows, so that may actually degrade their range a bit. Not exactly sure about that, but definitely the crossbow wins the range argument. Now, next, let's talk about a few more features of the crossbow, uh, and then we'll also do that on the bow, but these really you can't assign points for. Uh, next is that you do have the piercing enchantment, which means that the arrow will pass through the mobs of whatever the level is, plus one. So if you have a level one piercing, it means that it'll go through the level, which is one, plus one, so two. So it'll go through two mobs uh, before stopping. So level uh, four, which is the highest level, will go through five mobs um, in, in terms of like if you shoot all the way through uh, to get a whole bunch of mobs all in, in one go. Now, I've been trying this myself on a survival world and there's not a whole lot of times that mobs sort of line up behind each other. So that can be sort of an issue. Next is the coolness factor with the fact that you can load fireworks into the crossbows. Let me get some cooler looking fireworks. Okay, so here we go. So now... Uh, you can actually kind of see what happens, which is the firework gets loaded into the crossbow and then you can fire that firework from afar, which is pretty neat to be able to do to aim fireworks directly at something or someone and fire it at them instead of only firing it up into the sky, which is not nearly as cool of a thing to do. Moving off of the crossbow and moving back to the bow, you can enchant a bow with infinity, which is something that you can't enchant a crossbow with, which means that you won't have to use any arrows. As long as you have a single arrow in your inventory, it will always use kind of like the enchanted arrow to fire. So you won't have to use up lots of ammo. And that is something that the crossbow doesn't have. So that's kind of a really cool thing. So at the end of our list, it looks like the bow is still our favorite choice to use while wandering about and adventuring. So I hope that you learned something new from this video, learned all about the crossbow, learned that the bow still may be one of the better weapons to use. And also before we leave though, I do need to mention that we are still in snapshots. So things could change. The game is currently being developed. They're just giving us a sneak preview of what these weapons are right now, and they may change them in the future. So some of the facts that I said during this video may change moving forward. Thanks so much for watching this episode of OMG Craft. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a like. Make sure you subscribe for future videos, tips, tricks, tutorials, and spotlights here on OMG Craft. And also let me know your comments in the comments section down below. See you next time.
Bye.